Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get started today, I wanted to show you all what was in this black box. Now, one of the problems that I was having with my by whiskey um, CPU, or GPU water block was that it was powered by a proprietary unknown 12 volt and 5 volt. Now, I actually bought two CPU blocks, two different models, and one came 12 volt and one came 5 volt. And it came with a very odd connector, and I was like, whoa, how do I power this? I could just cut it off and power it that way. Um, and of course, I was wondering if by whiskey sells a controller, you know, an RGB controller for them. And they have tons of their 12 volts, but they did not have but one 5 volt. So that's what I got here today. I got a 5 volt um, power hub that converts to, I don't know, um, a SATA or something like that. And here is the, uh, the hub. So I can actually plug several things into it, which is nice. And a remote. And then here's what you actually need. So there's the three pin for the five volt, which is exactly what I need. But look right here, this is their their goofy proprietary light thing. You see how it looks like that? So that light would then plug into this hub and then all this would plug into the hub. And it looks like I can, whoops, and it looks like I can power it from Molex, which is okay because Molex, let me pick that up, Molex carries a higher volt than um, SATA does anyway. So that works better off for me. So anyway, uh, I'm going to take you guys back into the video. The video just basically has me showing you how to reassemble a, a CPU water block. Um, it's pretty straightforward. If the parts don't fit together, then you did something wrong. and need to tear it out and put it back together. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys into this video. It's at my house. So that's where we'll start off at. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And as always, here we go. water block here and get it prepared for the system so you have a couple of things here this is your distribution or your back plate that's where the actual CPU touches these are the micro channels I always talk about how your blocks and your radiators and stuff will get clogged and that's what kills the performance of it and that's what you don't want is for those little channels to get all clogged up and stuff that's a very bad thing as you can see this one's brand new um, but I need to assemble it I took it apart to uh, well I don't remember why I took it apart I took it apart for a reason a while back ago and I was like you know what I think I'll use that CPU block but I'm gonna have to um, do a couple things for one I painted this this right here was chrome and I didn't want it to be chrome I want it to be black right here is your flow I call it the flow smasher basically what it does is that your water will flow through there come out the other side and what it does is it presses it against those fins to cause the water to go through the middle and then go out through the fins that's the point of this thing and then don't forget the o-ring gotta have one of those it's pretty straightforward guys you just put it in here like that the groove that's there make sure it's seated in there nice and good if there's ever a part that fails on these it's that it's the ring 
the actual ring is what usually fails on them and then you have a problem so that will go like that and then you need to take this and of course you can already see the shape of it it's quite easy it would just sit like that in that little groove there and then this let's see here which way does it need to go it needs to go let's see here that's the inlet and then that would be the outlet so I'm thinking which way are my lines here let's put it this way all right don't screw it down or not but let's put it that way and look at it oops it's kind of crooked there we go see can you see down inside the there so the water will go in that way hit the distribution whoops hit the distribution and then spread through the ports that way so that would make sense because if you ran it the other way I mean I guess it doesn't really matter but I guess if you ran it that way I mean you don't want the the flat part to run that way because the way that the water is going to push against it it's not going to flow it's going to be it's going to run into those lines so you definitely want it to flow so you want the lines or the micro channels to be parallel with the holes in the block that's like a really good chip of advice or piece of advice alright we need this this is the next thing and then we put this in there and of course we need our screws I'm just gonna start this one right here by hand alrighty here, let me move the block real quick but I am um, Want to know how much money this is? Each one of these packages was 60 bucks. So 60, 120, 180. Isn't that ridiculous? But, I mean, if you want good fittings, that's what you pay for, man. These are Freeze Mod branded fittings. And then, of course, after I bought them, I found a website that was selling them for like two dollars a piece which oh it pissed me off because I've already got these and I was just like you know what forget it I'm not even going to worry about it they're basically the same as my blue ones you see hold on let's screw that down a little so it looks a little more even you see there it says freeze mod and then right there it's freeze mod but I didn't want to go with blue this time I wanted to go with black because the case is black so we're gonna go with black and if yes we are gonna run blue tubing this same blue tubing not this though I mean I got fresher stuff also I wanted to show you all this look at this see the tube see all that stuff in there that's the uh, the residue and stuff I was talking about I just run regular water but I um, I ran I put a couple drops of dye in there for you okay and if you run a bio side in it as well then you're also likely to get it but look see the fittings even the fittings have that white stuff in it and then you can really see the layer see I scraped some of it off with a screwdriver but that's what happens that white stuff builds up in your components it built up so bad in the radiator that I had to buy a new radiator I just bought it on um, Amazon today but yeah I bought a whole bunch of these little black fittings um, as you see a couple bags worth of them so yeah that's that we're gonna go ahead and get started on that build today um, I think what I'll do guys is I'll basically um, I, don't, I was gonna do like a build montage with it but then I decided not to I was like yeah I think I'll just show them the final product the final when it what it looks like what it's done because I really want to enjoy building it and it's hard to be filming and like I don't know I have a hard time of filming it I know it's you just let a camera run but that's not exactly how it works oh hey look the rabbit came in the room what's up Bonnie 
What did you do? You come in here and see me and my friends? Hmm? Me and my fans? Say hi, fans. This is our bunny, Isabella. She a big girl. So, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Let me show y'all something. <laughs> Look at this. I was cleaning the, um, what do you call it? The flow meter. And I cleaned it with a non-abrasive sponge. At least I thought it was a non-abrasive sponge, but look what it did to it. It scratched the piss out of that plexiglass. So I had to buy a new flow meter too. <laughs> yeah, that's worthless. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe because there's going to be some great stuff coming up here in the future. And I hope you guys like the computer stuff because that's all we're going to be doing lately. Y'all be cool.